Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a whole range of things to do with the Arrowverse. So, sorry if the mic's not as good as normal because my stand is actually broken. So, needing to get a new piece, and that's going to be fixed sometime very, very soon in like the next week or so. So, fingers crossed it all works. I don't have like a pop filter in front, so you may hear some glitches every now and again, but who cares? It's fine. Good enough for now. So, yeah, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so talking about a bunch of stuff, the main story is Arrow is getting a spin off. It is being developed into a spin off, and because you guys know, Arrow is ending at the end of this season, season 10, premieres very, very soon. They just released a new trailer for it. I still have to catch up on the last few episodes, so I'm going to restrain from watching the trailer until I do that, and I really have to do it. I've been meaning to do it all summer. I'm just so bad at catching up. So I will, I promise. So I'll have Arrow videos when episode one comes out. Okay, so Arrow is ending in season eight, and it's going to be only 10 episodes, and it will actually play out you know, heavily into Crisis, and Arrow's gonna end after the mid-season break so they're gonna stick around because they got a crisis episode and then I'm guessing like one more episode like episode 10 and then they have just announced via EW that they have learned that the long-running superhero show as they say in the statement their producers are developing a female-centric Arrowverse series the potential show will be introduced via a backdoor pilot in Arrow's eighth and final season and would star Catherine McNamara as Mia Smoke slash Green Arrow and Katie Cassidy as Laurel Lance and Juliana Harkavy as Diana Drake as the Canaries. At this point there aren't any further details as to that show, however given the cast of this it wouldn't be surprising if it turned out the follow up series took place in Arrow's future, see season 7 with Arrow introducing Flash Forward. So that is the official announcement that was made and that is a lot to think about, like Arrow is just ending and it's getting a spin off. I think there is a lot to get excited about, there's some stuff to be like, mm, not so sure about that, but I overall am very excited that they are continuing on the Arrow legacy and using those characters that we know and we can continue developing them, you know, they don't have to stop at the end of Arrow Season 8, so I love that they're having a sort of Birds of Prey, you know, Canary type episode in Season 8 so that can act as a backdoor pilot, like, you know, a few of the episodes back like way back in like season two of arrow were essentially backdoor pilots for the flash so i think that's a great idea and i really like the idea of laurel returning and then you have like all the other canaries so obviously mia mia smoke's gonna be in there and then you've got diana drake i think that's a really cool idea i think you know they are some of the most interesting characters i'm talking mainly specifically about laurel uh, in my case like, I'm not the biggest fan of the new Black Canary of Diana. I thought she was good at first, and I got a bit bored, but I'm a little bit behind, like I said. So, I'm not up to date on Mia Smoke, so I can't really comment on her right now. But, yeah, so, I'm very excited for this, because they're continuing on their Arrow legacy, and I think that's a great thing, and that's something to really get excited about. I know some people were a bit scared, because they didn't really like the flash forwards, but like I said, I can't really comment on that, because I haven't finished the whole season, so... I've got no real opinion of the flash forwards right now, but when I catch up, I'll let you guys know, maybe in episode one, when we do the review, you know, what I thought of that last season, because I've only seen parts of it. So, yeah, I think a lot to get excited about. Let me know, what do you think about all of these announcements? You know, this is a massive announcement, a new DC TV show is coming after Arrow is ending, and I really, really like it on Twitter. Stephen Amell actually posted and he sort of quoted a tweet from Entertainment Weekly regarding this article and said, go get them ladies. And I really like that he's supporting them doing this because, you know, at least it has his backing. Like, if it didn't have his backing, I'll be like, uh, I'm not so sure about that. But yeah, so a lot, of, a lot of stuff to get excited about right here and I'm very much so looking forward to seeing it. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. So... As you guys know, recently they announced that Tom Welling is going to be returning as Superman, but in Crisis on Infinite Earths. So his Smallville version is going to be returning. Also, Erica Durant is not going to be playing her Supergirl character, which is Allura, Kara's mum, 
she's going to be playing the Smallville version that she played on Smallville of Lois Lane. So those two are returning and they are, you know, essentially confirming that, yes, yeah, Smallville's out there somewhere. You know, whether it's on another Earth or not, probably is another Earth. That's really cool. However, lots of people have been speculating, oh, because Tom Welling and Erica have been confirmed, Michael Rosenbaum, who played Lex, has, you know, he has to come, surely. But he sent out this tweet today, and I think I can fully support him, and I think people are going to be a little bit upset. But this is what he said. So, friends, many of you have tweeted and asked me about joining the Infinite Crossover. I can't tell you how much this means to me. I'll just be straight up about this. Warner Brothers called my agents Friday afternoon when I was in Florida visiting my grandfather in a nursing home. Their offer, no script, no idea what I'm doing, no idea when I'm shooting, basically no money. And the real kick in the ass was, we have to know right now. My simple answer was pass. I think you can understand why. I hope this answers all of your questions. Lovingly, Rosenbaum. So he confirmed he's actually not going to be in the crossover, but they actually attempted to try and get him to come, which I think is really cool that they attempted to try. But they were obviously like offering him something really shitty, like he would just be barely in it. So that sort of, I think, backs up the idea that I don't think Tom Welling's going to be in it that much or Erica. Like I think it's just going to be like one or two scenes maybe, because. You know, they don't have a script right now, like, they have bits of scripts, but nothing for his character, so maybe the introduction of Michael Rosenbaum's, like, Lex, say they were bringing him back, maybe that was something that they were going to add after, like, they have the scripts right now, but obviously they're probably, like, tweaking those scripts as they head towards shooting, shooting should be sometime in the next few weeks, but the fact that they gave him no script, and, like, they have no idea when he's doing it, and the fact that you know, they don't know what he's actually doing in it, like, so I think that feels like it's very sh sort of shoehorned in, and, you know, the idea that they offered him basically no money, and him, like, being such a big legacy person, like, because he's coming from Smallville, really makes no sense, like, you would imagine, even for, like, a cameo role, they would, like, pay them a decent chunk of money, like, I'm guessing basically no money means, like, <laughs> more than like most of us could even imagine but like compared to like what the other actors are getting and like maybe what he's used to like maybe it's just not worth it for him and I think mainly you know what he emphasized here was the fact that they don't really know what he's doing and like that they said they had to know like right now and that was the main reason why he said no he said pass on that so I can see why he passed and I think it's really cool that they asked him I think they should have offered him more, they should have given him a script, told him his part. Like, that's really dumb if you're trying to offer that to, say, his agents or anyone's agents, really. So, yeah, what do you guys think about this? What do you think? I never have watched Smallville, but apparently Michael Rosenbaum's awesome as Lex Luthor. So I was kind of looking forward to him appearing, so I can maybe go back and watch Smallville. But I think it's a shame. I was definitely looking forward to maybe seeing him. So, yeah, just let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about this? Are you sort of bummed out, or are you like, yeah, I totally understand where he's getting at, or are you like both? So, yeah. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about, so, I've been doing a few giveaways recently, I'm going to, like, officially give out and, like, send off the prizes for the winners. Like, <laughs> the fucking San Diego Comic Con one's still there. Like, some of you guys have to um, message me, because there's, like two people that haven't I think I've got like three of you so that's all gonna be happening that's gonna be sent off so no worries about that but also I'm giving away a copy of either Supergirl or The Flash on DVD and this comes with the announcement that today you can get it on DVD like you can buy it on Amazon in the UK or like America it's like 20 pounds on Amazon it's uh, 29 actually like in dollars I think for the blu-ray in America but yeah, in the UK, Supergirl season four is twenty pounds, and the Blu-ray is twenty nine ninety five on Amazon. And if you go over and check the Flashes one in the UK, it's in stock right now. You can get it right now. That's twenty pounds and twenty eight ninety nine on Blu-ray in the UK. So I'd highly recommend you guys go get them. I'm gonna get them very very soon. 
and you know it has the gag reels it has the deleted scenes there's a lot of stuff to ex get excited for like last year i got it straight away i'm not so much in a rush this year because like last year i was able to like share some of the deleted scenes first because for some reason the uk released like I don't know, I think it released earlier than the US one, but like the Flash released in August in the US, so like there's no point in me rushing if I, you know, I can rewatch it like anytime. So I'm gonna get it, but you guys can go check that out. 20 pounds for the DVD for the Flash or Supergirl in the last season. I will be doing a giveaway, so just leave a comment on this video, subscribe, share this video, and obviously leave a like as per usual. So yeah. I'll catch you guys later, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later, goodbye. I see red.